<clears throat> hey guys, welcome to Horticulture Geek. I'm glad you're here today. We've got a quick project. Welcome to Horticulture Geek. I'm Ray, and like I said today, we're just going to have a quick project. We're going to do a planter refresh. So there's a planter here in the yard that I did early this spring with a hellebore or a Lenten rose. And at that time, when it was in full bloom, that hellebore was the star of the show. It was gorgeous, and it has lasted over a month, but it is time for it to kind of be trimmed back and it's leaving a huge hole in this pot. So we're gonna refresh this pot and get him ready to go for the rest of the season through fall. So that's what we're working on. So let me flip the camera around. I'll show you the container and then I'll show you how we're gonna clean it up and then I'll show you what we're putting in there. So let's go. All right guys, so here we are. We are in the corner of the garage and the back door to the house. And this is just a little shade grouping that we have here to fill this empty corner. Um, so let me walk you through this area. So obviously this is the planter we're gonna be working on today. And All right, so ladder back chairs, chair planters in general are super on trend right now. Uh, so this is super simple to do. Um, in my situation, all I did, this was a, um, a rope seat. Uh, I forget the technical term of that, if you know it, you can leave comments below and, and let me know. I can't, thatching, not thatching. Anyway, it wasn't a wooden seat. It was the, the ropey twine seat. So I just removed that. And then from this spindle here, you can see down there, to this spindle here, I just put in a board. I've painted the whole thing. You've seen this chair before if you're uh, followers of my channel. And then I just spray painted the whole thing and put a pot in there. So that's the pot we're gonna be working on today. This other area, rest of the stuff, this is just a standard fern here um, in a pot. I overwinter this fern. He goes into the garage or the potting shed for winter and he flushes back out. So this is him. And then this red lantern holder. Um, if you're an antiquer, some of you may instantly kind of know what this is. Um, this is actually an antique mirror frame that goes on top of an antique washboard um, and it would have had a mirror in it that swiveled this belonged to my grandmother and um, my grandmother uh, was killed in a car accident before i was born so i never got to meet her but anyway this was something that she had nobody knows where she got it from she got it somewhere it wasn't something that they had in the in the house um, she got it from somewhere and it got shoved up in the rafters of one of the barns at our home where I grew up. Um, and about three years ago, I pulled it down out of the rafters and said, I'm gonna do something with it. So this is what I came up with. I simply made a base for it out of so some regular old cheap wood. Here, let me pull this out. So I just literally made a base and screwed this mirror frame to the base. spray painted the whole thing. It already had this little hook on it and I just hung a lantern from it. So that's all that is to there. So there's my little corner. So what I'm gonna do is just simply using a pair of pruners, I'm gonna come into this hellebore. This is a hellebore here. Um, this is, if you remember from the spring, these are the leftover flower heads on this thing. But all these floppy branches have got to be pruned up. I did add this in here so we've got this little thing and then this it, this plant is a trailer that stays in here all the time as well so but what's going to happen once i prune up this floppy branch and these floppy branches there's going to be a big hole right here so looking at this pot i've got two issues once i clean up this hellebore which is that all of the plants left in there are going to be dark green dark green, medium green. There's no color in this pot. So I went to the garden center this weekend and I was looking for something that was a different foliage color or something that was flowering. 
And I happened to find both of those things in one plant. I didn't go with any expectations, just wanted to see what looked good. And here's what I found. So I've got some begonias. So this is a shade loving planter. So these begonias will be perfect. They have the bright green foliage and they have flowers. So I got pink, a little red and white. So that is gonna be the pop I need to finish this planter out. So at this point, I'm going to set the camera up and get to working on this pot. So here we go. guys Ray here I'm jumping in this video right here because I realized during editing that I forgot to point something out so you're fixing to see me pick up a bucket well, what am I doing with this bucket um, I had actually pre-mixed some potting soil and some plant tone and some flower bulb and bloom fertilizer into a mix that way it was easier for me to get good fresh potting soil and a fertilizer mix around the base of those begonias um, so that's what that bucket is. I had just put all those things into a bucket and mixed them real up real good. So you're about to see me incorporate that, but I wanted to tell you what that was um, because I forgot to mention it when I was filming. So back to it. finished up now it's not a huge difference yet but as these begonias fill in they're gonna bring in that bright pop of green and then the color of the flowers and they should mound up and fill in this corner and spill over this way nicely so that's all we've got for that um, just a quick project today in the garden I just needed to get some new life and color into that pot and fill it up a little bit so I think that looks pretty good and finishes out this little corner. Well guys, that's what I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed this quick project here. Um, again, nothing fancy, nothing special. I just needed to clean up that pot, get a little color and life into it. Um, and thought I'd bring you along um, to show you kind of my thought, press, thought process there. Um, so again, you know, I went to the store with no expectations, just wanted to see what was there. That's what I came home with. So, I mean, is that planner going to win any competitions at the state fair? Nope, but it works. Um, and that's one of the things to keep in mind is that not everything has to be grand. Not everything has to be expensive. Um, I just wanted something quick, cheap, and easy um, to fill in that pot. Because um, that hellebore, um, if you remember, um, when we planted that, if you've gone back and looked at that video, um, and I'll try to link it above but that hellebore was huge it was beautiful and i didn't pay that much money for it so at the time i didn't need to put anything else in that pot because it did the job so this was just a way um to get this pot to carry through for the rest of the summer um, and i know that's a common problem for so many people especially right now this time of year um, because you did exactly what i did you went out early spring you found some stuff that you loved and it's starting to fizzle out now because some of those spring plants um, really don't make it through the heat very well um, and they don't have a good flower show through the heat so that's all this video was for today um, i hope it's inspired you giving you some um, information uh, maybe you'll get out and see if you have some pots that need a quick refresh in your yard um, but if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it very much. Um, and if you're not subscribed to Horticulture Geek yet, come on and join us. We would love to have you. You can also join us on our Facebook page by the same name. 
and see what we post over there. And if you hit that bell, it'll tell you every time we post something new. You never know what we're gonna do or get up to or where we're gonna go. So we would love to have you come along and watch. And if you have any comments or questions or suggestions, whatever, leave them in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. But until next time, from my garden to yours, I wish you all the best and happy gardening.